Histopathology is the study at the microscopic level, the structure of biological tissues. So the history of histology dates back to Hippocrates and Aristotle when they first started looking at the organisation of plant and animal tissues. But a real development happened with the invention of the microscope in the 16th century so that we could really look at things in that kind of cellular detail. And then further to that, in the 19th century, the development of the cell theory that all living things are made of cells and that's the basic unit of life that really progressed things further. Well, a hundred years ago, you could see cells and you could see things within cells. But nowadays, like I say, it's a lot more about the spatial context and their neighborhood interactions. So cells together with other cells and how are they interacting. So before we can analyze things at the microscopic level, obviously we've got to dissect at the macroscopic level and we have to stop the process of decay, which happens immediately when things are removed from the body. So to do that, we need to fix tissues uh, and keep them in their lifelike state as possible. Fixed tissue needs to be cut into really thin sections so that we can see the cellular detail. So you can look at where the cell is and how it's interacting with cells around it, which cells are there. We don't always have a very, wow, eureka moment. It's not like that. It's, you know, it's a, a slower process of gaining information step by step. So we probably work with at least 60 labs in the buildings. And then we work with maybe 200 individual researchers from those 60 labs and working in a place like this that's, you know, has great people with fantastic resources that can really push science forward is, you know, about, I feel very lucky.